That's but, cool. Yeah, it just doesn't have the same ring to it, you know. When no, I everything's know. Everything's empty and you're shooting cannons. Well, everywhere. would you go there anyway with all those people? It was one of those bucket list <laughs> things for me. I would do I mean, it, it one cool, time, but, maybe, but yeah, I mean, okay, maybe one time. But I just think I would get so much anxiety from that. Yeah, I know. I've heard nothing but bad in. things. Actually. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thankfully we'll be safe at home. Um, but the yeah. good news is, you know, Thursday throughout the day looks not too bad. We're not going to have as much rain tomorrow as we're getting today, so we'll get a little bit of a break. We'll still have a few showers, but yes, the New Year's Day does look pretty wet and again today definitely so let's take a look at our satellite and radar notice uh, Seattle Woodenville Everett you are about to get some moderate to heavy downpours moving through your area right now it's just leaving the Kitsap Peninsula we also have some heavy rain moving through parts of the South Sound as well so again if you can leave early this morning do so to give yourself plenty of time there is already ponding on the roads putting the clock into motion you can see we continue for steady rain throughout the morning and maybe even into lunchtime but as we get into the afternoon and evening they become a little little bit more scattered and notice more around the mountains. So we're expecting a lot of mountain snow with this. And then as we go into Thursday, you can see just a few scattered showers. Not too bad. Might get a couple sun breaks, but it's still looking pretty cloudy. Now with all this rain, there is a flood watch that goes into effect at seven o'clock this morning through four o'clock in the afternoon for uh, Mason County. Of course, the Skokomish River could continue to rise. And then as we take a look at Puget Sound overall today, steady rain will turn to scattered showers. Temperatures mid to upper 40s and a southerly wind around 10 to 25 miles per hour. But along the coast, the winds will be elevated even more so 15 to 40 miles per hour. And we could even see some isolated thunderstorms along the coast as well. So that wind advisory is for the north and central coast where we could see wind speeds 30 to 40 miles per hour with gusts potentially up to 50. And now the northwest interior has been included in that. Again, we're expecting a lot of mountain snow. So check the passes before you head out. Um, the, lo the lower levels of the passes will definitely be inundated with snow so we do have a winter weather advisory here's a look at your seven day forecast and of course we do have a wet start to january but temperatures look to stay mild